Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how enable AMD FTPM on AMD motherboard BIOS especially on ASUS ROG Strix B350F Gaming. As you know if you want to install new Windows 11 in your system, you need to enable TPM, trusted platform modules, for the security reason. The minimum required TPM for Windows 11 is TPM 2.0 version. Usually the latest motherboards and those produced a few years back already support TPM 2.0. The ASUS ROG Strix B350F Gaming Motherboard also supports TPM 2.0. At AMD it's called AMD FTPM, Firmware TPM. AMD FTPM is a hardware TPM 2.0 implementation integrated in AMD Ages a code for credential storage and key management. The firmware TPM key will be stored in AMD Ages a code data region once you enable FTPM in Windows BitLocker for drive encryption. Please note that when the recovery key is lost or when the BIOS ROM chip is replaced, the system will not boot into operating system and the data will stay encrypted and cannot be restored. Let's get started, to check AMD FTPM is enabled on your system or not. You can check it via Windows PowerShell. To open Windows PowerShell, click the search button on the Windows taskbar. Type the search word, Windows PowerShell. Then select Open with Run as Administrator. Now type this command, get dash tpm, then press enter. As you can see, the false indicator indicates that AMD FTPM is not yet active. Now we will enable AMD FTPM via BIOS. Restart the system and enter the BIOS settings. When the boot logo shows up, Press delete or F10 button to enter BIOS setup. After entering the UEFI BIOS utility setting, before enabling AMD FTPM. Make sure secure boot is enabled in the BIOS. Go to the boot section. Make sure secure boot state is enabled. OS type Windows UEFI mode. To enable AMD FTPM in UEFI BIOS, go to the Advanced section. AMD FTPM Configuration. On TPM Device Selection select Firmware TPM. Click OK. Now save and exit the BIOS setting, or you can simply press the F10 button. Now go back to Windows, and check if TPM is enabled. Check again via Windows PowerShell. and it turns out that TPM has been enabled. Okay that's it guys. Thanks for watching this video. Good luck.